The continuous fiber rovings are commonly fed from large capacity bookshelf style storage through a general guiding or preforming system. The continuous fiber rovings are unidirectional and only provide longitudinal tensile strength, that is, tensile strength along the length of the protrusion profile. To provide transverse strength, continuous filament mat or woven or stitched fabric reinforcement is also incorporated in the protrusion. These reinforcement materials are pulled through a resin wet-out station where they are saturated and impregnated with liquid resin. Mechanical rollers or other devices are used to ensure that the fibers are saturated and well wetted with the resin as they pass through the wet-out station. A surfacing material commonly called veil, is typically added once these longitudinal and transverse materials are wet out. Suitable resins for pultrusion typically have low initial viscosity to ensure full fiber separation before impregnation. When applied, the resin should be stable enough to preclude reaction in the dye. Then, on application, Polymerization should be fast enough for adequate curing so that it can be pulled through the dye at an economic speed. Open bath wet out stations are the simplest and most common method of saturating and impregnating reinforcement materials. Resin impregnation can also be induced under pressure within the pultrusion dye. 